Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to play around with Universe Sandbox Square or 2, no, no matter what you call it, it's basically the same game, and we're going to recreate the real face of our galaxy, the Milky Way. It's going to involve a little bit of a game bug and I'm going to show you how you can actually try this yourself and this is actually based on something that someone actually sent to me very recently. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, click that subscribe button right now because there's so many more educational videos coming in the future. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> And so first of all, I actually have this interesting black hole in the middle with a bunch of stuff orbiting around it in a very interesting pattern, so I kind of wanted just to start with that. But we're not going to deal with this just yet. We're going to actually go into a simulation called Galaxy or Supernova in the Galaxy. And we're going to erase this because we don't really need the supernova, but we're going to take a look at the black hole in the middle. Now, what I wanted to do in this particular video is actually give you an idea of what the actual face of our galaxy is. This is based on the previous video I posted where I kind of showed you the picture, but this time we're going to recreate this from scratch and talk a little bit about it as well. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to basically create a black hole in the center that is going to have a kind of a projection from both sides. These are basically the, um, the gamma ray jets that are essentially uh, projected from both directions um, in pretty much every massive, supermassive black hole in every single galaxy. And these jets actually also form these really interesting bubbles two big bubbles um, on both sides of our galaxy, which we're going to create as well. But first, before we go into this, let's use the game bug to actually create this type of black hole that has these jets. I'm gonna show you how to do this. And this is actually thanks to a person by the name of Abraxas who sent me a message uh, shown uh, basically in his video that you can probably find on YouTube. I think it's actually um, under his name Abraxas. And it, it kind of shows you how to basically recreate this um, using Universe Sandbox, using this really interesting bug. So let's actually place a star in here. And in this case, the star is just going to be the sun. Uh, we're also going to possibly slow down time a little bit just so that it's not too fast. And so what we're going to do first is we're going to make it go supernova, not supernova, but basically the uh, nova effect that is supposed to appear here but it doesn't actually appear and uh, you'll get uh, something called sun nova remnant which is kind of just this it's it's still kind of actually a bug in the game as well but for all intents and purposes this is supposed to be uh, a white dwarf or something along those lines so you're going to materials here you can actually um, scroll down and find the button called uh, make pulsar and there we go we're going to make a pulsar we're also going to change the magnetic pole to zero degrees because we don't want it to move too much. And we're also going to start increasing the uh, magnetic power until this jet becomes so big that it's actually basically visible um, from outside the galaxy. So let's zoom out and see how big this is. And look at that, this is perfect. This is already looking more and more like a, a real galaxy that will have these two very large gamma ray jets. Uh, coming from the center, but this should be a black hole. So we're going to change this object into a black hole by essentially um, Well, we can do two things first. Let's add some mass. Let's give it one Milky Way of mass Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. I wanted it to be one Milky Way not 0.0001 Let's change this again until it turns into a very large very massive um, black hole but It might actually oh there we go that worked there we go. And it's still, look at that. And it still actually has the jet. So this is definitely a bug. Let's rename this into um, Sagittarius A, for example, because that's what we're actually trying to recreate. We're trying to recreate the Milky Way galaxy with Sagittarius A in the center and these so-called um, relativistic jets, or you can call also call it astrophysical jets of matter that essentially is being thrown out of this black hole at super, super high velocities producing these gamma rays. All right, so that's step number one. Uh, now, the bug itself is actually pretty interesting. I hope they don't remove it anytime soon um, because it does allow you to create these beautiful shapes. Uh, we now need to create uh, two gamma ray bubbles on both sides of these jets. These are essentially like leftovers that don't really get thrown into a perfect, you know, perfect way and they kind of get deposited around the galaxy. And to do this, I'm actually going to place two objects. In this case, it's just going to be Mercury at two different sort of positions on both sides of um, the black hole. Now, all we need to do is essentially create 
the um, spherical, there we go, spherical ring around them. Not a ring, but I guess it's a ring. It's basically a sphere. We're going to create a sphere uh, um, of a distance of approximately 20,000 or let's just say 30,000 light years. Uh, this is actually should be light years as well, so we're going to change this to light years. And so here we go. So from 1 to about 30,000 light years, let's see what this looks like around the first Mercury. Or right, maybe a little bit too large, but you know what? That's okay. It's okay for now. Let's add another one here. And this is looking kind of more realistic. Maybe not so much because I actually did order it. I should have done random. Let's add random as well. It's going to look a lot better if it's just random. All right, so that's already looking more and more like the actual face of the Milky Way. So we have these two gamma ray bubbles on both sides. We have two projections. I think if I actually let it run now, it's going to also move around. Yeah, yeah, there we go. But we're still missing something. We're missing something really, really important that we've discovered uh, relatively recently in the last few years. Something that might actually also explain the so-called dark matter, but maybe not. There is actually a very, 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 very large, almost like a bubble. It's actually a shell of matter around our galaxy that is there and it's moving with the galaxy. And it's kind of hard to see because it's not as dense as the rest of the stuff in the galaxy, but it is there and it's super, super far. It's actually as far as about this much, which is if you look at the distance of, uh, of th this galaxy, for example, it's a, uh, oh, that's not the right distance. It's something like 15 to about 20 times the radius of Milky Way, or even more. We don't even know how far it is, but it definitely touches other galaxies that are around us as well. And so we're going to try to recreate that uh, using a very similar method. So basically I'm going to go in here and create an ordered sphere around, um, around this Sagittarius A, but this time the radius is going to be anywhere between 30,000 to about 300,000 light years, or possibly even more, and yeah, definitely more, and we don't want it to be ordered at all, we actually want it to be random, so let's add a lot of it, and increase this to about a million light years away, and maybe add this a few times. And you know what, this is kind of looking pretty good. I mean, th there's this ball that is sort of more visible, but this is kind of also almost realistic as well, because it is a little bit more dense, closer to the galaxy than it is on the outside. And all of this is actually moving with the galaxy. Maybe a little bit slower than the galaxy, but it is moving very fast. And we've recently discovered that uh, not only does this all of this stuff moves, uh, there's actually, yeah, there's a ball within a ball within a ball. Um, not only does the stuff moves, but um, there's actually a possibility for star formation as far as this far, essentially. So all of this material that's inside of this shell can actually also um, be responsible for starting new stars because some of it gets so dense that it gets really, really hot and, and starts the nuclear reaction. And then we have these two balls or two um, interesting looking shapes uh, that are gamma ray um, rejects, I guess you can call them. And we actually don't, we shouldn't have mercury in here anymore. Uh, so these gamma ray bu uh, bubbles are basically uh, projections or leftovers from these two blasts that you have um, in, the, in each galaxy. And these are, of course, very important. These are um, astrophysical jets that are projections from the central black hole. And so this is kind of more like the real face of our galaxy. This is really more like what it should look like with various materials floating around that is not as visible as the rest of the galaxy of course and that's essentially where our planet earth is it's somewhere inside of this galaxy located around 20,000 or so light years away um, from the Sagittarius say so somewhere around here and we're basically living there and all of this is super super complicated still hard to explain and of course is, oh, look at that, Earth is frozen. And of course, um, very mysterious as well. So basically one day we'll hopefully discover what all of this is all about. Hopefully we'll learn more about the dark matter and try to understand what the actual real, real face of the galaxy is, because I'm sure this is not a complete picture either. Anyway, I hope you learned something from this video and I hope now you know what our galaxy really looks like and what we've discovered in the last few years as well. And once again, thank you Abraxas for bringing this interesting bug to my attention because, because this will actually allow me to create some really interesting simulations in the future as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you still haven't subscribed, don't forget to click that subscribe button right now. And I'll see you guys in the next video when we're going to do something else related to space, sciences, math, or possibly video games. Game you later, and as always, bye-bye.
and I'm going to zoom out and give you an idea of what it looks like when we also add maybe a few more galaxies to this whole simulation just to kind of maybe create a little bit more realism. So let's add two more here and let's add Andromeda and this is about far away, <laughs> really, really far away. And there we go. There's three more galaxies now and two of them are inside of our shell as well. And that kind of looks like a face. Hey, look at that. There's a nose and two eyes. 